Okay, this is uh, part two in the Frog Sound QRP CW kit build. And the first thing I did is by taking the bill of material and printing it out and going through each of the components, the resistor one, resistor two, the capacitors, the tr transistors and chips and, and all the good little components and matched them up and made sure I had everything that I needed. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm missing a screw here for this heat sink, and I'm also missing the wire for these little guys, uh, but that's no big deal. I have that on order. Now what I did find is I had a whole bunch <laughs> of extra parts. <laughs> uh, now the, all of these are components in, in here. They just threw a whole bunch extra in the bag with it. The tools I'm going to be using are over here. Um, I use my multimeter just for verifying some of the components prior to putting them in. A nice big magnifying glass. A couple of different types of uh, needle nose pliers. Some flush cutters. This is a glass block and a uh, pencil eraser. I'll use that for cleaning components. I use a uh, liquid uh, flux rosin in a bottle with a little needle on it. Uh, these plastic hemostats come in pretty handy sometimes, and I've got a little heat sink here if I need it. Variety of different uh, soldering tools. I have a uh, alcohol bottle here that I use with the acid brush. Variety of different sizes of solder, different sizes of solder wick. Um, I've got my little uh, helping hands here. Of course, the wrist strap for anti static. A good weller soldering iron and the instructions. Okay, so this is what I all I am going to be using to build this little QRP kit. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.